Hey everybody, today is Friday and you know what that means, it's time for another App of the Week review. Well, it's been a few weeks since I've had my fourth gen iPod Touch, but counting my third generation iPod Touch, I've had it, I've had an iPod Touch for over a year and I've always wanted to actually do more than have my music and apps on it. I've wanted to carry some of my files on it documents, video files, graphics that I make in Photoshop, whatever. And I wasn't really sure how to do it until um, a few weeks ago I found this great app. You can see right here it's called USB Disk and I believe it's still a free app and it lets you pretty much use your iPod Touch or iPhone and I believe it also works with the iPad as an external USB disk drive. You can put any file format as far as I know any file format on it. So let me quickly show you how it works. These are the files I have on it currently. Okay, um, You see that plus sign right there on the bottom? I don't think you can see it. Oh there you go finally. You can barely see it. You can create folders like I've done here by p uh, pressing that plus sign and then when you connect your iPod, iPhone or iPad to your iTunes, this is how you're going to put uh, items on your device. Let me show you. Alright, so this is iTunes right here. Right now I'm under the, uh, as you can see, under the apps section right there on my iPod. These are all the apps on my iPod. And if I scroll down, it says file sharing. The applications listed below can transfer documents between your iPod and this computer. Five applications here, but we are talking about the USB disk. Let's click on it to see the contents. There you go. And to add more stuff to it, right there, there's the add button that you click. Let me just quickly add a file so I can demonstrate for you guys. Add. This pops up. And I can add anything. Let's add my... Um, there you go. Let's add that logo, my logo. And as soon as I click add, it syncs my iPod and adds it right there. Syncing the iPod, there you go. So that's how easy it is to add files to your iPod and use it as a USB disk. Okay, so now you have a file or a few files on your USB disk app on the iPod. How do you put them back on your computer when you need them or back on a different computer that doesn't have that file but you need to have that file on that computer? Easy, just click on any of the files. We've clicked on this one right now. Gives you the save to option. Right there. Click on save to. It pops this up and you can save that file anywhere on your computer. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, twittter.com slash dgtronic. My blog address, www.dgtronic.blogspot.com. My YouTube channel, subscribe to it, rate my videos, comment on them, youtube.com slash dgtronic.